Hi, it's Megan. So I have been haunting my local CVS and my local Nordstrom. And I had some returns to do at Nordstrom. Unfortunately, I got caught in the cosmetic counter on the way out. So this year, a couple companies have been killing me with their like softly feminine, you know, flowery collections that just strike in my inner girl. So I got stuck at the Dior counter. So they have this new uh, Trion, Trionon collection which is based on Marie Antoinette and Trianon, there are two palaces, Le Grand Trianon, which is near Val Versailles, and Le Petit Trianon, which is a chateau near Versailles where Marie Antoinette used to play. So the theme, the look behind this is softly pastel eyes and then kind of vibrant lips. So what caught me was the blush. Let me show you. I'm gonna start with the blush since that's what caught me. Lately, I've been doing a lot of corals, kind of peachy-ish things, which are mixed between kind of an orange and a pink. First of all, I find they're more versatile. They match more things, and when I'm in a hurry, they're easier. And then also with my skin tone, which is slightly yellowish, I find they are a little bit more flattering. So, the Dior Blush, Dior Coral Bagatelle, limited edition. It's got a nice mirror, but I'm not going to show that on camera. And I have outdoor swatches. But this is the blush. It's on my cheeks. I did not mix bronzer in with it. I'll put a little bit more just to build it up so you can see it. Uh, I tried it on, like I said, at Nordstrom. And the sales lady was surprised at how light it actually went on. So it's a very vibrant blush. And you can build it up. You can see I just built it up a lot. It's a lot darker now. But it actually goes on shockingly softly. It's a really pretty... Um, texture too. It's very smooth, very easy to blend. You see how natural, even just playing around with that crappy brush that they always throw into these um, into these blushes works. I lost my little, it comes in a little felt package. Looks like this, just regular Dior packaging. Gets really fingerprinty very fast. It's a limited edition blush for spring and I thought it was a finish kind of not quite a matte, somewhere between a matte and a satin and uh, it never got particularly mal uh, metallic, which is always a good thing because it is kind of a little bit more matte. And it just lasted beautifully on me. It lasted really all day. Uh, it started to fade, obviously, toward the end of the day, but I really didn't see fading during the day. So I put it on the morning, really lasted all day. I tried wearing it to yoga and did okay, actually, surprisingly well, given how my yoga class is actually quite sweaty. Um, it's really just a perfect blush. The texture is amazing. It goes on beautifully, blends beautifully, looks really natural, and it lasts well. The color, I think, is absolutely stunning. So it's just, for me, this is actually what caught me and kept me at the display for a little bit. I decided to skip the eyeshadow, it's five eyeshadows, because it was a little too pastel for me. But what did catch my attention was one of the Fusion Mono eyeshadows. So they did a special color and a special type of, uh, I've never used this formula before, they did a special one which is more matte than the regular one. And the one I got was rosy, which is a, um, no I didn't get rosy, yeah I got rosy. It's a Nordstrom exclusive. And I do want to say two bad things about it before I say good things. First of all, this is it. I'm not going to open it. I'm going to show the outdoor swatches. I'll tell you why I'm not going to open it. I opened it outside and it fell right out of the package. And so the swatch I have outside is actually a little dirty because it just fell flat out of the packaging, which I didn't, and now it looks like a little compressed there. I can show it to you, which I didn't appreciate given that you're paying, this is $30. The blush was 43. This is not a cheap brand. And for it to just like fall out that easily, I thought was kind of a little chintzy. It's a nice package. I guess maybe in the shipping or I don't know. And then this is the brush. You take this off. It's a little cap. And it's kind of a sponge brush. You do this. It's kind of cute. I did not like the brush at all. I found it really did not apply the product all that well. So Nordstrom with this particular collection, they released a new formula for the eyeshadow, which is the matte. This particular shade is not one of the matte shades. This is kind of a cool tone, shimmery lavender with a hint of pink. And it's kind of a frosty frosty finish. I'm going to show you on my eyes, but essentially it's almost impossible to get a good picture of it on camera or, I mean, on the movie camera, video camera, or on my arm. It's just an amazing shimmer, gorgeous, perfect, like impossible to capture. There's like silver, a little bit of like a 
not quite a gold, but a really soft gold, pink, lavender. It's just a beautiful shade. So I put it on my lids with my fingers. I tried using the brush. I found it really difficult. I did use the brush underneath my eyes. And I just, and then I put a little bit of black on the upper waterline just to add some extra definition. Uh, I like all these sheer shimmery eye things. I think they're really stunning. And that seems to be a big theme for spring where you have these kind of sheer shades on your lid and then you have like a bolder lip. And I think it's gorgeous, but I just want a little bit more definition. So I did the kind of a black charcoal color on the upper waterline. I just think it's stunning. I just love it. Um, when I wear it, it lasts a good 8, 9, 10, 12 hours, just depending on the type of day I'm having. And the thing about a color like this is that as it fades, it's going to fade beautifully because there's not a lot of pigment to it. It's a lot of shimmer, so you're just going to get less and less of it. I was, I found it really hard to build up a color. I guess that's, according to Dior, if you use your finger, you get kind of a sheer wash. If you use a brush, you get kind of more of a buildup of color. I think the shade is so light. Maybe I did, but it was really not noticeable. So I just liked it better actually using my finger. I didn't really get a lot of benefit out of trying to, you know, be more precise with a brush and get more color. Um, but it's really lovely. It's, it's just a beautiful, beautiful shade. And the last thing that caught my attention were the lipsticks. So at Nordstrom, they're basically sold out of this collection. Um, I got the last item of the items I purchased. I got the last items and they tried to find, I only got one lipstick, the other one they didn't have. They tried to find the other lipstick. It wasn't in any stores. They were sold out within all the stores. But it's online on Nordstrom. It's on all the department store websites. So it's still available online. So you might not find it in a store, but every website still has almost the whole collection online. This is a lipstick I got and it is Rouge Dior Allegrese, if you pronounce it right. It's like a fuchsia. It's a cool toned. The other one was like a peach. These both, I think, have a slight gold to it, but I don't really see this. It's not all amount of shimmer. I didn't really see a lot of shimmer, honestly. But I do... Uh, fuchsia sometimes can be hard for me. This is such a light pink, a light fuchsia, that I actually really like it a lot. Um, even when the fuchsias look pretty on me, I never feel that comfortable wearing them when they're the dark ones. They're just a little too much pink for me. Like, I'm girly up to a point, and that gets past my point of girliness. This right here, though, I think is a beautiful, perfect, perfect one. And you see, the formula is amazing. It applies beautifully. I don't lose my top lip. Um, it's just got that subtle, soft look to it. Not very. It's very natural looking for such a bright color. Uh, it makes it only lasts about three to four hours on me. It lasts a little bit less than their normal formula. I think it's a little bit. It probably is their normal formula, but compared to the normal lipsticks, these limited edition ones feel a little softer. And I wore one, the, the peach one that they're sold out of, I wore it to yoga, and it actually did survive most of my yoga class, which is a good thing, but it didn't look perfect. So they don't wear quite as well, in my opinion, as the, um, the regular Rouge Dior. But I think it's just an amazing kind of look. You know, you take the, the cheeks, which kind of are very defined and pretty but softly so. You take just a beautiful shimmer to the eyes and then just you take a really soft but bright pink lipstick and I just absolutely loved this whole collection and particularly the items that I got. So softly pretty for spring. This gets like an A plus from me. I really like these items. Love them. Not happy my 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 um, shadow fell out of the package, but that's okay. But everything's worn incredibly well. Um, I think that's it. If I miss something, let me know and I will put it in the comments. Um, if you want this collection, get it soon while it's still available because these are all limited edition items. And I'm writing a novel that I'm putting on YouTube called Masks, so I'll put the link to the first chapter and I'll have the next one soon. And I think that's it. If you have these items, I would love to hear about other items and what you thought. Thanks for watching.